Oh, it's finally here. My constitutional silver. Yes. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. And I really mean that. There are a lot of incredible YouTube creators out there in our precious metals community that you could stop this video right now and go watch. But please don't do that because I really want you to see this constitutional silver that I bought from Clueless Homesteaders. Now, Clueless Homesteaders was doing a great job collecting silver, but ran into some issues, had to liquidate a lot of his stack, and I found out about it from International Stacker. So props to International Stacker for not holding this information to himself, but sharing it to the community, to myself, to others, and we've really been able to not only help Clueless Homesteader out, but be able to get a hold of some of the silver. So, you know, it's not an ideal situation. My heart goes out to him. Um, I, you know, really appreciated what he did for me. I was able to get a great price back when silver was a lot lower than it is now. So why don't we check this, uh, check this box out and, and see what I got. All right, let's, uh, I'm just gonna, oh yeah. Oh, this is interesting. Huh. All right. Whoa, I see what he did. Uh -huh. Okay. Wow, I think that's it. Yep, that's all. But wow, this is a, an interesting duct tape job. I'm very impressed. So, um, yeah, I, I, I remember the de denominations of the constitutional silver I got, and I don't know the best way to peel into this maybe is just to undo the tape. Yeah. He took great care to make sure that this silver was protected. Oh, uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, and a baggie, too. Oh, nope. Okay. I see what he did. It's a Ziploc, but I think... Let me just take it out this way. Here we go. All right. Look. that! Oh, wow. Oh, this looks awesome. My word. 19... I love 1964 constitutional silver. Whether it be Kennedy half dollars like this... Look at that. That is gorgeous. Oh, man, I'm not going to do this to every one of the coins, but I just have to marvel at the quality that I got. Now, I usually handpick my constitutional silver at my local coin shop. He's really nice, lets me go through it, pick the best specimens. But <laughs> sight unseen, this the first coin I pulled out is almost is that brilliant uncirculated? Seriously, look at that. Wow. All right. Let's, uh, let's, let's, I'll, I'll just start to go through them. This is, wow, a little toning, beautiful. Oh, man. Yep. That has some, uh, has some toning on it, too. Really good. Let's, let's speed this up a bit. Yeah, the quality on these half dollars from a um, a wear standpoint is remarkable. Oh yeah. Oh my word. Look. These are really nice. They're not they're not worn at all. Now, I know they're Kennedy half dollars and 1964 tend not to be too worn. But you can really get beat up half dollars. These are in great shape. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun looking at these. <laughs> I'm just going to lay them down real quick. Enjoying the moment with all of you. Whoops. Man, oh, another nice, gorgeous example. Wow. Oh. This is quite the array. 
I'm not used to getting so many at the same time, but I am deeply impressed. 37, 38, 39, 40. That is $20 face. And I got all this silver for melt. Isn't that incredible? Man, Clueless Homesteaders, you you really, really were generous to do that. I thank you so much. And I, I need to put these in some tubes. I didn't expect it to look so beautiful. I'll put that on top. Oh, dude. <laughs> what a roll. What? Two rolls. Mm. How do I top that? Well, over there. We're looking at what I believe is a roll of Washington quarters. So yeah, I'm gonna speed this up again. <laughs> I don't want you to see me struggling with duct tape, although I really appreciate it. Okay, so I got really impatient, <laughs> I have to admit, and uh, decided to pull out my knife. So let me just grab this, lay these quarters down. Go. I think that's it for that roll. And uh, yeah, I'm going to tear into this one too. Hold on. Okay, and I'm back with this partial bag of Washington quarters. Wait a minute. There's something else in there. All right. Well, that's strange. Let me, uh, let me put the Washington quarters in there we go hmm what is that whoa look at this this is an 1863 indian head penny wow I, <laughs> that is gorgeous i don't think i i know i did not order that but that was very, very generous. Whoa, thank you so much. Wow, that is gorgeous. Man, all right, so now I have a lot of quarters to get through. I'm not going to, I'm, I'm gonna count them. This is, won't take as long as International Stacker to count his constitutional coins when he gets them, but it will take me a little bit. Wow, look at that one. That's a 1961. That's beautiful. All right, that's 20. What is that? <laughs> look at this. That's amazing. <laughs> a 1962. What does it look like? It almost looks like a proof. That is remarkable. Wow, that I will definitely hold on the edges, at the very least. <laughs> 1962, man, I might even even put that one aside. Wow. All right, three, four, five. Oh, hey, little stacks. Yeah? Hey, man. Oh. Hey, check this out. Look. Oh, my goodness. I know. I ordered some constitutional silver at mel Melt, excuse me, from Clueless Homesteaders. He needed to, to liquidate some of his silver, so he offered it up to the community through International Stacker. He's the one that got me into this, but oh my word, look at this. This is beautiful, beautiful silver quarters. Oh check check this out, look, look, look at this one. Oh my, that isn't that is ridiculous? So, oh, so what are we up to here? I think we're gonna be, um, uh, is it another one? <laughs> So here's t here's 20, wait a minute, 20, 40, wait a second here, 20, 40, wow, look. Oh my goodness. Whoa, put that over there too. So, so that, if I'm not mistaken, 40, that's $10, that's a roll, right? Do I have a, oh, do I have a roll? I do have a tube. All right, so let me just go, yeah, all right. So that is going in there, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait a second. Two, four. 
hold on here. I have some extras. Yeah. Well, hold on, let me drop this down a bit. I know what he did. I got sent another $3 face for the giveaway that International Stacker did during Coast to Coast Stacking the other week. Oh my word, there you go. Boy, I gotta get these in some packages and out as mm. soon as possible. Gotta mail them. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much, all of you, for watching this incredible uh, unboxing. That was really, really nice to have an Indian head. That is gorgeous. Whew. And then I'll just slide these in into my tube. And let's take a look at what I got here. I have uh, a full 40 in there. I've got my, check, check this out, little stacks. Look, look, look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, is that not beautiful That's or so what? Pretty. I mean, you don't normally get junk silver like that. I know. Oh. So, false advertisement because putting it on the top makes the rest. It makes people think that the rest look that good. I know better. <laughs> I know better. <laughs> yeah, and here's some more. That he just it's just wonderful. Yeah. So I got two two rolls of that, one roll of the quarter. So that's it. Thank you so much for joining Yankee Stacking for this fun unboxing. Thank you so much again to Clueless Homesteaders. Thank you for International Stackers' generosity to help me out too. And I'll put both of their channels in the description of this video. But for now, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.